Hi, my name's Janet Chapman and I'm going to be talking about fighting female genital mutilation or FGM with MAPS from my project Crowd to Map Tanzania. So if you don't know, FGM is the cutting of female genitalia for cultural or religious reasons. There's four types as indicated here and it has absolutely zero health benefits and very, very serious consequences. So we're working with activists in Tanzania um, where FGM is illegal, but it still happens widely, particularly in the areas where you can see here. And typically girls are rounded up during a cutting season when they're on the school holidays. So usually in December. So we've been working with an activist, many activists, but particularly Roby Samwelly, as you can see here, who's an FGM survivor herself. And she does outreach work in the villages in Mara region and also operates two safe houses. So because Tanzania, rural Tanzania is very poorly mapped, it was very difficult for the, the staff to find the girls in the villages because rural Tanzania before we started looked like the map above. So there could be a village of 10,000 people in this area, but it wasn't marked on any maps, unlike Dar es Salaam, which you can see there. So typically, Roby and her um, colleagues would get a phone call in the middle of the night saying girls are about to be cut in, say, Kavanchabancha village. That village wasn't on any map. There's no road signs, there's no street lights. It was extremely difficult for them to find them. So for the last five years, we've been making these maps. So now we have over 15,000 online volunteers from all around the world and you can join us if you're interested that are helping map rural Tanzania from satellite images. So this is a, an image that you might see um, of a village or um, an area in rural Tanzania. So you can see that there, there are some roads here and there are also some small buildings here that volunteers have added into OpenStreetMap. But also we're training people on the ground, so people like Roby and her activists to add to their local knowledge about the places where they're operating using a free app called Maps.me. So this allows um, them to use their smartphone to add details and it works offline, so it's fantastic. So here you can see some activists actually adding um, a water point that you can see in the background. And then we've been working with people like the police who work very closely with the FGM activists to use Maps.me on their phones to quickly get to the places where they need to get to, to rescue girls at risk. And we've also been providing um, a lot of training in the villages, as you can see here and then printing paper maps that can be displayed in village offices and so on. And here you can see some people adding um, information that's not yet on the map. So better maps have helped over 3000 girls find safe houses and avoid being cut and coincided with a reduced death rate because every year in the cutting season, girls bleed to death um, and die tragically. And last, October was our fifth year anniversary and we were featured in the Independent, which was wonderful. So we've trained many, many activists um, in rural Tanzania and this is an ongoing project. Um, in 2018, myself and Roby were invited to run a mapathon in um, New York as part of the uh, General Assembly. And we had satellite events across the world, which was fantastic. But anybody can join this project who has internet access. So we have a very active Slack group um, that gives people um, mentoring advice on mapping and gives you feedback when you first start. We have comprehensive training materials. We even have a quiz where you can test your knowledge once you've gone through the materials. And if, when you get 100%, you get a badge. So anyone can join, please do help us. Um, please contact me and I'll send you all of the information you need to get started. Thank you very much.